Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how we are going to perform a subdomain takeover onto a Shopify hosted domain. So as of now, you must be aware that there are many services cloud providers like AWS, GitHub, Shopify, Tumblr, Zendesk, Fastly, etc. So for this specific video, we are going to see, first of all, how you can identify the subdomains of any particular target. After enumeration of the subdomains, you are going to identify if any of the subdomain is vulnerable to a subdomain takeover. And if any of that domain is pointing to Shopify's IP or is never been claimed onto the Shopify cloud environment, then we are going to claim it and successfully perform a subdomain takeover. So let's quickly see the practical of how you can take over if any of the subdomains or IP addresses are pointing to Shopify and are not being claimed. All right, so for this video, I am logged in into my control panel of the website, which is srsecure.xyz. So to show a simulated environment of taking over a Shopify subdomain, I have myself created a subdomain onto this website. Now I will just move ahead to my DNS settings and I have created a subdomain, which you can see over here. So the subdomain is shifa shopify.srsecure.xyz and I have created this domain and pointed this particular domain to this specific IP address. Now to verify to whom this IP address points, we can just do a hoes and put the IP address and hit enter and you will come to know this IP address points to Shopify. Now you may ask that we are able to see this into the DNS settings of the particular server. This is only vis is visible to the admin. Now, how is this visible to a user or a security researcher? So for that, we are going to enumerate all the subdomains of srsecure.xyz and from there we are going to identify one of the domain which is pointed to Shopify as you can see over here. So for this, we are going to download this tool, which is a sublister. This tool is a fast subdomain enumeration tool for penetration testers. One of the most used tool into the infosec industry. Remember this tool is written in Python and it will only work once you have Python installed into your computer. So this tool is compatible with Python 2 and Python 3 both. So in case you have any specific version of Python installed into your computer, then you're good to go. All right. So the first step is the installation. So we are going to copy this and paste it into your terminal. Basically, we are doing the git clone and we are downloading all the resources required, which you can see over here into our computer. So I'm just going to copy this, go to my terminal and I'm going to paste it. So let me just clear the screen and I'm going to paste it over here. What does this do is it is going to download the sublister repository and all the necessary tools into my computer. As I already have it, I'm not going to download it again. And let me show you how does it looks like. As you can see, these are the files which will come into your computer. Now, the first and the most important thing that you have to do is you have to install the requirements.txt file. So for this, you simply need to type pip install hyphen r, which means read the file, which is requirements.txt. Now remember, when we are doing any installation, we need some privileges. So we are going to run this command as sudo and hit enter. It may ask you for the password. 
supply the right password and it will install all the necessary dependencies which are required as you can see it has installed already the dependencies into my computer so it did not take time it may take some few seconds for you to install now let me clear the screen again and after we have successfully installed all the dependencies we are going to run this particular tool which is sublister so let's quickly type python and the tool name and hit enter to see if this works fine or not and you can see it has started successfully and we are able to see the banner for this particular tool which shows that there is no error into the installation and we have correctly set it up this particular tool now how to use this tool we are going to see it into the next video and identify the subdomains for that specific target